from a mild and windy Bill Davis Stadium in Columbus, Ohio. BTN presents Big Ten Baseball. And today, the Iowa Hawkeyes come calling in game two of a three-game weekend series. The junior from Des Moines hitting 333, one home run, 22 runs driven in. And trying to maintain that rhythm at the plate. Bouncing ball up the middle and a base hit scores the first run. A big two-out base hit for Yasinich, and Iowa takes a 1-0 lead. Now another runner's in scoring position for the Hawkeyes. Yasinich to second base now in scoring position for Potempa. And Potempa lifts it in the air to right. Pretty well hit. Porter going back at the track, and it's off the wall. It'll roll back towards the field of play as Yasinich scores on its second with an RBI double as Dan Potempa and a 2-0 Iowa lead. Had one of his 18 multi-hit games of the season last, well, yesterday afternoon. Check swing, slow roller to third. The tag trying to apply to the bag, and he got him. And sometimes stealing third's easier than stealing second because you can see the pitch, and you can see the pitcher and get a better lead. There goes the runner. Double steal, and everybody is safe. Nice. Ohio State tried to get the runner behind to no avail. And a bouncing ball to second. Sergakis to first for the out on the play. Coming home to score is Eric Toole, and it's a 3-1 Iowa lead. Second and third, two gone, and the 1-0. Peyton lifts it in the air to right. Going back is Porter. Still going back. Looks up, and it's gone. A three-run homer for Tyler Peyton as he clears the wall for his second home run of the year. And Iowa takes a 6-1 to one lead. Dawson at first for Zach Ratcliffe. And Ratcliffe at the first pitch. Yasinich to second, and the inning is over. One and two now on Goodman. And Goodman, a little flip to right. Coming on is Porter. He's not going to get there. Zutenhorst on his way to the plate. Slides safely in. Had to wait to see if it would be caught. Porter almost made a play out of it. And it's 7-1 Iowa. Two balls, two strikes for Mangler. With the bases loaded. And that one up the middle into center field for a base hit. Franco's scores. Goodman will score a two-run single for Jake Mangler, and it's 9-1 Iowa. Out on the infield to first and to the pitcher. And a hot shot through the left side and a base hit. Tool will score. Waved around third and headed home as Mangler. He slides home safely. A two-run single for Yasinich, and it's 11-1 Iowa. In some trouble in the sixth. Line drive to right. That's a fair ball, and it'll roll into the corner. Zutenhorst around third. Some problems for Porter in right field. Stopping at third is Francos. In at second with an RBI double is Chris Goodman, and it's 12-1 Iowa. The grass as it's bouncing up the middle on a base hit for Nick Day. Francos will score. Headed home is Goodman. He scores a two-run single for Nick Day. And Day, who was the only Hawkeye without a hit, has his first base hit to make it 17-1. to Jake Reinhardt warming up in the Iowa pen right now, the right-hander. Just in case, the 2-1. Hit on the ground to short, to second for one. On to first, double play. And the Hawkeyes take game two of the series. And Sasha Keeble goes the distance. A 17-2 win for Iowa. Yeah, we definitely did. The guys came out with a lot of energy and great focus. I thought our at-bats uh, up and down the lineup were extremely disciplined and um, really did a nice job against Riga, who's an outstanding arm. We didn't chase and, and forced him to, to elevate and get some pitches that we could hit. And we, we just had a good day. Um, Sasha was outstanding. He settled in and did exactly what we needed him to do in our pitching situation with uh, the guys we have hurt. And uh, now we got a full bullpen for tomorrow. And we're going to run uh, Tyler Payton out there. He missed last week's start. And, but he says he's ready to go, so hopefully he'll give us four or five. I don't expect a long one out of him, and then we can go to the bullpen fresh.